Hey members, just here to have a bit of a chat and give you guys some guidance if you're stuck at home and you're not leaving the house and you still want to work on your golf as long as the wife's okay with it. Grab your sand wedge out, there's a couple of things you can do on the carpet at home. Um, lots of people when they're, when they're hitting chip shots, I see a couple of things, they're trying to dig, so they really feel like they're trying to hit like they say a 7 iron where they're trying to take a divot. They're doing that with their chipping and the problem with that is all golf clubs have bounce, but the more sort of forward shaft lean you're gonna get, you're just gonna dig the leading edge straight into the turf. And if you're not sort of 100% accurate, you're gonna start flubbing chips. So, you know, taking a big divot before the ball and the ball doesn't seem to uh, go where it's supposed to. So, second thing that I see a lot of is people swing back and then their next move is, oh, I need to get this ball into the air and they sort of rock their, uh, their weight back into this right side, their chest comes backwards, and they're gonna hit the ground first, so they're gonna bottom out and they're gonna skull that ball. So I see, you know, Saturdays I might watch people chipping and they've got two balls that they're chipping with and the first one, they flub. So they hit the ground first. So they're coming in like this and they've hit the ground first and sort of the divot almost moves the ball. And then the second ball, because that's just happened, they've fixed it. Well, they think they're gonna fix it, and they rock onto this back foot. So there's a good drill that I'm gonna give you guys that you can practice at home, and that's gonna be, you're just gonna take your normal chipping stance, and then with your right foot, so you look like you're balancing on your left, you're just gonna throw this right foot down, just for a little bit of um, balance so we don't fall over. So it would look like this at home. We've got that right foot just slightly behind the left foot. If you're left-handed, it's obviously the opposite. So your back foot, it's gonna come up, it's just gonna sort of act almost like a tripod, it's just there just to help for a bit of balance. And you're just gonna have a couple of swings. Now what this is gonna do, you can see there, I sort of almost lost my balance this way. So it's, it's making me stay more centered or more across on that left foot. So the front foot. My hips, because my, my weight's set this way, it's not allowing me to use my lower half as much. So it's encouraging my chest to rotate and hit the shot and let the club actually slide on the ground and my hips aren't gonna go this way and I'm not gonna try to elevate the ball into the sky. The last thing you wanna think about, or the next thing you wanna think about is just using the bounce. So bounce is there to help us, especially on a golf course like this where we have some thick kaikuyu around around the green, we wanna use the bounce, right? So that's gonna skid, that's a skid plane, right? So you imagine you chip, you're taking the club back, and rather than thinking of, I've gotta hit the ball first, just try to feel that you're skidding the club on the back part of this. So we've got the, the bounce or the sole of the club, you're gonna skid along the back part of this. That's gonna come through, it's gonna interact with the ground, and the ball's then gonna pop that off the face. So, simple drill, like we said, right foot back, just let that club skid. Right foot back, just let that club skid. I'd probably not use a golf ball because I want you to just try to get the motion right rather than seeing what the actual golf ball's doing. And then uh, once we're back out and allowed to practice and, and do all that sort of stuff, you'll be good to go.